Okay, so if you look here with your brushes, you got your brush tool, then down here, pencil tool, that's self-explanatory, color replacement tool we talked about last week, and then you have your mixer brush tool, okay? Also, when you go in here, if, as you go through your brushes, some of them, like this one, has the little brush with the drop next to it, that's a mixer brush. Does that make sense? Okay, so any of these are already, like that one, it's already assigned as a mixer brush. All these down here, obviously don't have anything assigned to them, so I can assign them to as an eraser, I can assign them to whatever I want. So any of them that have that, we talked about that, if it has an eraser mark up there, then that means it's assigned to just be an eraser. Anything that doesn't have anything, I can assign kind of anything to it, okay? So let's go here. This is our color swatch right here, and if you notice right here, it has this, which hopefully the little thing will come up, because I always forget how to describe this. Basically, this one's saying to, to pick up the color after each stroke, and this one's saying don't. Does that make sense? Okay. Then this, I got load brush, clean brush, and load solid colors only. What we're concerned with today is just solid colors. Okay, we'll do the other thing Wednesday. Then you have here, you have all these custom uh, presets. Okay. Uh, wet, wet light mix, wet heavy mix, so on and so forth. Okay. Then over here you have your wet setting, which is how much it, okay, so this all relates to how a brush actually works. So the wet setting is basically that, I got very wet paint and how much of it do I have on my brush, okay? Load is how much paint you have load on it. Mix is how much it's mixing together with whatever's around it. And you can do this, if you notice right here, you can go sample all layers and it'll pick up all the layers and, and mix with them. So in other words, it's just like working on a wet canvas uh, in oil, right? So I've got all my paint is still wet. I go in with a brush and it'll sort of mix and I can, you know, it, it behaves like an oil brush more or less, okay? And then flow is just how much, it's sort of opacity, sort of, okay? So let's go in here. And then I always have to get this set up. Just like how much paint's on it, you know? This one's just literally how wet it is. But I gotta get it set up here, so let's get it set up. Mix is how much it's mixing with the color, so let's get another color. So you can see how it's intermixing with the color underneath it. You see that? Now, if I pull the mix way up, It starts really mixing with it. If I pull the mix down, it's not mixing as much. Does that make sense? So I would probably, it just depends on what you're doing. Now another thing I like to use this for, or even the smudge brushes, let's get the mix a little higher. Is sometimes I'll use it to sort of mix colors, huh? Oh, uh, sometimes I use this to mix colors. Okay, because the color picker sometimes is not going to get subtle colors that I'm used to getting painting traditionally. So sometimes, and I do a lot with the mixer brush too. Now let's go how wet this is. Let's go, let's go, let's turn the flow down. So you can see it's not flowing as much when I throw that flow way down. It's down to, oh, here's another thing. When you do something to one thing on this, it potentially can affect everything. So sometimes you'll put like, let's see if I can, I'll put wet all the way down. Sometimes something you'll put on here will somehow prevent it from doing things. So you have to really get used to the way these things interact with each other. Because again, it's sort of emulating wet paint. Okay, so I'm going to put the wet back up and put the flow back up, and I'm getting a lot more paint now. Okay, so I'm going to go. Now, if you notice right here when I selected, it selected all of that. So now it's making a multicolor brush, which is not what I want because what I really want it to do is just load solid colors only. Does that make sense? Right, we'll talk about the other thing uh, Wednesday.
drop it right here. Load brush, clean brush. Right? Right now I just want solid colors. Load clean solid colors only. Now it still picks something. Oh, there it goes. So let's put let's get a different brush. And let's go, let's pull the mix down a little bit. I'm going to pull the wetness up a little bit. You can see that brush is getting some really nice kind of textural stuff. Does that make sense? I'm going to put the flow way up. And now the mix is at 60, which you can see it's sort of, it takes a little while. I have to hit it a few times for it to kind of pull through. Sometimes I like that. Because otherwise, if I go, the mix is way up here. It's, you know, I really have to hit it to get it to sort of start to show up. If I throw the mix way down, then it sits on the surface a little bit. It's still mixing in, but it, it sort of sits on the surface a little bit. Does that make sense? Now, I can also come in here. This is where I always get screwed up. I'm going to say clean brush. Hang on. This always screws me up, this part. What I can do here is I can clean up the brush, which it shouldn't be giving me any color right now. Okay, so I think it's just, it's just pulling color out of here. So what you can do here is you can tell it to go to a clean brush and not pick up color and it essentially becomes a very sophisticated smudge brush. Does that make sense? Um, so some, to be honest, like if you really get good with this thing, which isn't really hard to do, let's go up here. Yeah, so it's just, I think it's just smudging now. It's not putting color in, it's just smudging. Let's see. Yeah, it's just smudging now. Okay? So you can see up the window it's clear, right? That's what we want to do if we want to just use it in that way, okay? Does that all make sense? You're going to have to play with it, okay? I can stand up here and lecture about it for two hours, but you have to play with it, and you have to just get used to it. And you have to get used to the way these things interact with each other. You have samples all layers an option here. So if I go in, don't want to put a layer above this. And you can see it's mixing into the background. You see that? Okay. But that's just a clear brush. Okay, so let's go. So here's what we're going to try to do. We're going to grab this dog. I would use the object selection tool. And you'll see why here in a second. Now, see I didn't get his knee right there. So I'm going to go here to my... Uh, quick mask. I'm going to go to my eraser. I'm just going to erase that part out. Click it again. Command C. Go into here. Oops, wrong one. Command V. <clears throat> these are high-res files. I would probably res these down before you start working on them. But I would also keep the originals because they're stock art, so they might come in handy for something. And they're at print scale or print uh, ready. Okay, so the way I look at this now, if you look, got a lot of funkiness. We picked up a lot of the white. Really, right there is the main problem. But I'm going to go filter. And there's a bunch of ways you guys can do this, but this way I'm going to do it. Or select. Let's well, not let me go to modify. Hang on. I got to be on the right layer. So I'm going to go to select. It's weird. It's not letting me do my thing. For some reason, it's not giving me modify, which is really weird. Okay, I'll ignore that. 
I'm going to come in here, get an eraser then. What else? You did, you did hit select and mask. What do you mean mask? You did not. Because you were under select. Did you, hit, did you select something under select? I couldn't see you went really fast. I was trying to see. Um, did I select? Oh, under quick mask? Yeah. All I did was I, I erased out. It didn't pick up his knee. Oh. So I just erased out the, the mask. Okay. Or the selection. the selection. And then I just, and then it made a nice selection. Mm -hmm. It made a better selection. Not great. Well, all this has some white in it. That's about the only thing that's bothered me. So what I normally do is, oh, I know why it's doing that probably. So let's make a selection. Let's go to mo uh, select. There it is. Modify, contract. And I'll just go negative two pixels. Oh, that's weird. Oh, I already said contract. That's right. Let's go two. And then you can see it, it went in a little bit, right? And then I'm just going to go select, inverse, delete it. And I just got rid of a little bit of that white. Does that make sense? That's one way of doing it. Now, what we want to do, you can see I didn't make a good selection right there. You can see the green through it. Am I going too fast? Iffy? Okay. Um, okay, so let's zoom out. Well, this is all stuff we know. Okay? It's, this is just object selection. That's it. And then modify, contract, which we've done before. So all this stuff is just stuff we've done. Does that make sense? None of, I, and nothing I'm doing up to this point is new. Nothing. Okay? Now, how you select that dog, that's up to you. I'm just saying this is how I do it. Okay? Okay, so first thing off is he's way too bright for this environment. So I'm going to go to Levels, knock him down a little bit. It's probably a little too big, too, but I'm not going to worry about that. And then I'm going to make a layer above him. I'm going to go to my mixer brush. I think I need a more precise one, so I'm going to go back up here. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this, it's on clear, so hopefully it'll stay there. And in some of these spots, yeah, like here, I'm going to start sort of pulling this off. Why? So it goes back over the background and I don't have that white thing there anymore. Does that make sense? I'm going to come here. That's why I'm not being all that selective with how, hang on a minute, with how I'm, um, getting rid of this white because I'm going to I'm going to modify it anyway. So it's not that big a deal. Go back to this, go back up here. Now, the nice part of this, and I don't want to overdo this. I just want to soften things. Like here, I can pull a little bit of the hair back out. Well, the contraction of the pixels, the only reason I did that was to get rid of some of the white fringe. But it's helpful in allowing you to... It's helpful in that I don't have to fight that white fringe. Does that make sense? Yeah. That's the only reason I did it. Like, it got rid of all this up here, and I can just real lightly hit this. Because I don't want it to get all fuzzy looking everywhere. And, and then some spots, like when I go back to a standard view here, it just starts to soften all this up. Okay? so And it starts to pull the... Um, the uh, fur back over the background. You can see right here I screwed up right there when I did my selection. So I'm going to go here and just mix that again. Now down here, I'm going to break this up where his paw hits the ground. Now here's the beauty of it. I can put some, I don't know, leaves or whatever you call that, grass coming up here. It's all right here. So I can get rid of all this whenever I want. Does that make sense? It's on its own layer because you want to make its own layer and then you want to have it on sample all layers. Now what else it's doing, when I pull this, what's different about this from other tools more or less, it's pulling, it's mixing in with that background color also. Does that make sense? Because we're sampling all layers. So again, it's like a wet canvas. Then here I've got some problems here, so I'll fix that. 
Now, here's another thing. So we're softening up the edge so it doesn't feel like he's pasted in. And you got to be really careful with it. You don't want it to be everywhere. If it already looks pretty good, just leave it alone. I'm going to pull some more of this down here. Now what's interesting is what we'll do with this on Wednesday will be completely different to this. So I would go in and do that. We all understand that, correct? And we've got this clear up here. See that? So now I'm going to go... I'm going to let go. I always have to set this back up again. Load solid colors only. I'm going to grab some of this bright color. I'm going to try to. Or let's get like this. Okay. And I only want it to be load solid colors only. Now, if you notice what it's doing, and what I'm trying to get away from. See how it's got a little color? I know it's hard to see up there. It's got a little color within the color. I want it solid only. I always have to fight this a little bit for some reason. There. There it is. Those two buttons to me are just weird. I think it's just me. I don't think it's the, I don't think it's the program. I'm going to go to a bigger brush. I'm going to do another layer just for the hell of it. Sample all layers. Let's see if we can make this work. Okay, there it goes. So now what we're trying to do, I've got the mix at 60. And i got the flow pretty high. I'm going to pull the flow down a little bit. And what I want to do, and it's a little too, probably a little too wet maybe. What I want to do here now is mix, I don't know if you can see it up there. I'm subtly mixing in some of this surrounding light. Does that make sense? Because an animal or anything in this environment probably is going to reflect. That's a lot of bright stuff going on around there. Now, again, I don't want to overdo this. And I don't want to smudge everything out. So, I'm, And what it's doing is I'm trying to set it up so it sort of mixes into the dog's fur and isn't sitting on top of it. Does that make sense? But I'm also trying to be subtle in it in the sense that I don't want to really disturb all the all the fur in there. Does that make sense? So that's why I pulled the mix is it's at 60. I pulled the flow down because I, I that kind of the flow to me is almost just like um, opacity or something. That's kind of how it functions. Now, when you're doing this also, depending on how you set up the brush, if I have the uh, I think it's a load. If I have the load down, as I go like this with my brush, look at my hands. As I go like that, what's going to happen is the paint will run out just like a real paintbrush. Now, if I put it up real heavy, I can probably go forever, which is not like a real paintbrush, but that can be useful also. But if I pull it off, it'll it'll drag the paint off the brush, and I can I can adjust how fast that happens. Now, all that stuff's personal, obviously, right? And it's also depends on what you're doing. To me, it's always just dependent. See, I don't like... I don't like I'm starting to get too... See, I'm starting to get too blurry there. I don't like that. So I would go back and I'd readjust my stuff. Because all I'm trying to do is get... It's too patchy. It's way too patchy. I might put a little bit of blue up in here in his head. i got to get it where it's just sort of sitting there really nicely and you don't really notice it. And it just feels like a little bit of reflected light. Does that make sense? <clears throat> so we have two things we're trying to do here. Soften him up so he doesn't feel like he's been pasted in and then try and get a little bit of bounce light in them. Does that make sense? And you can pick, like I'm not going to pick this dark green here because it just doesn't feel like that would bounce. It feels like this sort of thing up here would bounce because that's where the light's hitting it. You know, you can see it bouncing onto some of this stuff too. And also, if you notice, there's some, like if I was doing this painting from scratch, I'd probably get a mixer brush, a real rough mixer brush, and I'd grab, and that's how I'd make that. See that barky, greeny stuff down at the bottom? That's how I do it with that, because then I'd mix it into the, the tree trunks, and it'd be really nice with the texture. Okay, The whole point, whether you're working traditionally or digitally, is to let the tools do all the work. Just like we talked about with the planet thing. It's just all about letting the tools do the work. Correct? And that's the same thing we're doing here. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm going to give you this. Here.